We have a lot to talk about here in today's video. This is not just going to be a mouse video. This is a serious conversation piece, right? I really want you guys to hear me out because this mouse represents a lot of me, a lot of the technique, a lot of what my channel is about, but also another side of what my channel is not about. It's really almost like a personal piece right here, you know what I mean? So I think we're gonna have a really fun topic here. We're gonna cover the mouse, of course, but unfortunately, no, you can't buy this product, which is gonna be another topic in this video here. But luckily, I'm gonna give one of these away to one of you. So you gotta stay through the video and see how to claim that. Y'all know how I do a lot of my uh, uh, giveaways. Now, I haven't even opened the peach or the blue one here. We're gonna open those together here today. And I'm gonna let you, whoever wins, pick whichever color they want. So anyway, stay through the video, figure out how to enter. And again, stay for this conversation and mouse coverage. So as far as in your box, you get all the essentials, your mouse, depending which color you get, you get your adapter, your dongle, your cable, not too bad of a cable, not great. It's kind of stiff. It's very thin though. One thing I really wish they would have done again, this being a limited drop type deal. I wish the cables would have matched the mouse. That would have been a really, really cool touch, but I don't know, maybe that's just me. Let's go on and scooch this aside. Let's go on and get our blue one, get our accessories out of the way, get our peach one over here. And I'm gonna pop these open and again, take a look at them with you guys here. So let's cut the seal on the blue one, cut the seal on the peach one here. Now I'm really excited to see this blue one. Even though I'm not a blue fan, I've seen pictures online and yes. Okay, so look at this. They did the adapter white right here, but you see underneath there, the cable is still black. Would have been cool if they did the cable white or black, but at least they did the dongle right there. So anyways, let's just get a quick glance through at that. Now you see you got the feet. Now you peel that off and you got your white PTFE feet. Oh man, I love it how it goes like blue, white, and then white up there. Really cool. All right, let's get to the peach one here. Let's go and pop this open. I love the box, by the way. You see the little art there, you got switches. Kind of like glorious how they're making everything customizable these days. Really, really cool package, I really like it. All right, so I don't know, I called that peach. You know the cable? Yeah, so cable's still black. They did the adapter and dongle black right here. So let's go on and get a, just a good glance through at all of these. So I, I don't like this, it looks more orange even then peach, like even though the box looks a little brighter, definitely looks orange and then with the black. I would say my favorite, even though I'm not a blue fan, I love this blue on white right here and then the yellow, you know, yellow on black is pretty sharp. But again, I think the colors are cool. I wish they would have made an all black or an all white one. But anyways, this is what we got. And that's how you're gonna enter the giveaway actually, is let me know, write down in the comments which color's your favorite. But you all know, I don't like giveaway accounts. I don't like random people coming here trying to snag a giveaway. I like true viewers and true followers and true members of this community we have here, right? So again, I do my little technique quiz to make sure you're stuck through the video and stuff and kind of hear me out so there'll be one random question about the video and so you can actually win it, not just, you know, enter your random comment. So I hope you're sticking with me through this video and you're really catching my vibe, right? It's really mixed. It's like good. It's like, well, what are we doing? It's like, where are we at here? You know what I mean? So stick with me. Is this mouse deserving of the title glorious? Not so much the company name, but is it a finally a glorious model? Oh, is it good? Is it worth it? Well, I'll tell you what is glorious. A word from our sponsor. That is Anchor in a Nebula 3 capsule laser projector. Yeah. This little thing is a projector. Many of you are probably familiar with the Anchor Nebula Capsule 2 projector. Nice, small, device, functional, portable, 720p LED. Coming over to the Capsule 3, you can see still that nice portable size. Just an absolute pinch bigger, packing 1080p, and again, laser projector. And just looking over the device right here with the sleek, compact design, you have your focus down right there. The shell all around it is metal. You got touch sensitive buttons right on the top up there. Swinging over to the back, you got some Bluetooth pairing, your power button, HDMI, USB-C, your auxiliary cord, and right under the bottom here, it's really nice. You have a slot to mount it on, say, a tripod or something if you want to place it wherever you want. Now the Capsule 3 gets 300 looms at 1080p, laser, which creates absolute crisp image no matter where you're placing it. You almost can't even tell you're placing it on a wall. It is so crisp, so full, and vibrant. Now with the grates on the side of the Nebula 3, 
It's also speakers, punchy speakers, packing Dolby digital sound. Again, that you can control right on the touch sensitive buttons on the top or via the included remote. And again, it charges by USB-C and you get two and a half hours of video play with it and up to 10 hours of straight music play. It's so small, take it, plop wherever you want, throw it in your backpack, you know what I mean? Go wherever you want. The flexibility and versatility of this is so cool. But again, what it's actually producing, backing up the features and functions it what really excites me. So for more information and to take a deeper look at the Anchor Nebula Capsule 3 laser projector, make sure to check out the links right down in the description. So the first thing I wanna talk about here before we dive into the mouse, cause we're all very familiar with the Model O. You got the same deal right here. Of course, a complete shell. There's no holes, different colors. We're all very familiar with this mouse, right? Now, the first topic I gotta cover here, besides my th sore throat, let me get a drink. Is this mouse being a group buy, a limited run product? Hence the Glorious Forge. They do it with a lot of their products right now. Or a couple lines are doing with the Model D. I think that is ridiculous. That's crazy. and I, I think it's stupid. Let me be straight. I think it's okay if you want to do it for limited colors. But yo, put a white one, put a black one in the normal stock over here. I don't know if they're just testing it to see how well it does, but still, let's get a white and a black one in normal stock instead of these limited runs. So now no one can get them. I hate group buys. They do that a lot in the keyboard space, you know what I mean? And I think it's ridiculous. We all wanna be able to get our products and it's not so much the colors, it's the product itself. Cause this full bodied shell, glorious Model O is better than the one with holes. You know what I mean? But again, you can't get one except for in this giveaway. All right, so let's go to talk a little bit about the mouse. Let's look at the dimensions. Again, you all are very familiar with. The switches, the sensor, you're all very familiar with. BAMF sensor, so far and so forth. Again, exact same as when the Model O first came out. Now, as far as weight with this being a full shelled mouse, let's see what we're getting here. We are coming in right at 56.5 grams. Very nice, again, being a complete shelled mouse. Now you just have wireless SC on the bottom, no dongle storage or anything, but again, full shell all the way around. And this is what truly makes me excited about this mouse, talking about in the beginning where I stated, it really represents a lot of me, a lot of the technique, a lot of my channel right here, right? Is when this mouse came out, it was the hype of the town. Everybody was recommended it. I trashed it. It was a flexi piece of junk. I didn't recommend it. I didn't get on the hype train. You know, lo and behold, Glorious improved, improved, and improved. They got better with the wireless. And now right here, even better. That's what I'm talking about. Don't jump on hype trains, right? Talk about a good product. I could hype it up and jump on affiliate sales, but no. I wanna, I wanna recommend a quality product to you guys. That's what I've always represented over clickbait or, or hype trains or anything like that, right? That's where it really represents me and it excites me seeing something so solid here. Now, is this mouse perfect now? No, unfortunately it's not. And this is, when I feel right over here, it's across all of them, right? Number one being these side buttons. They're not, for say, mushy. Okay, the back one's mushy. Let, let me just say, like when you press it, it goes in. The front one kind of stops a little bit more, but the back one, even when I come over here to these guys, they got a lot of play right in the back there. The other thing, the scroll wheel, again, is just a little softer. So when I'm actually in game, slight touch, I might get an extra, extra spin than I wanted right there, because it's very soft. I, mean, I can just come over here, graze it, bam, and it's actually flipping. So no, it's not perfect now, but holy smokes, has it come a long way. And now what? isn't so glorious is the space now the mouse space all the offerings we have okay you're, you're gonna really notice this here the x2 right from pulsar very similar shape a little bit different which i like i like a little bit different right this is fk shape so i gotta give pulsar some props again having something a little bit fresher again glorious mice are copies of Zowies, there's no denying that. The D is an EC2, this is an FK, right? So again, seeing that innovation and freshness, I love. As a tech fan, and I'm sure yourself as well, something different, something fresh, we all love it, right? And seeing that, it's kind of like, well, 
You guys have been at this for so long. Limited drop. I don't know. What are we missing here? You know what I mean? And this guy's solid. These buttons are crispy, right? It, it's doing it. It really is. Another one. This is this is a good one. Lamb Zoo Atlantis, guys. So many people have covered this. So many people have raved about it, myself included, and it backs it up. It's fantastic. Again, a little bit of a different shape, kind of X uh, uh, FK vibe-ish, you know? I don't know. Maybe not really because the hump's a little bit more right there. It's definitely a plumper of a mouse, hence the reason why I like it so much because it doesn't sit as low as these. But other than that, just the quality, right? Straight out the box, it's just... Man, it's just nice, it's crispy, it's innovative, it's fresh. And seeing these, this coming in at 100 bucks, I believe this comes in at 80 bucks, if I'm not mistaken, don't hold me to that. These limited run from Glorious were at 100 bucks, right? When you can get the one with holes for 80 bucks. Now, unfortunately, you can't get any of these, as I've talked about. What can you get? these now this has been selling out because it's been a hot potato out there but you can get them i don't know if glorious is going to release those again i don't know if they're going to release a solid white or black one right these you can get i hate group buys i hate limited runs especially when you put a complete product class in that a solid model of wireless in a limited run yo that is the worst Thing you can do in a tech space i believe do not make the rest of the tech space like the stinking keyboard space because this is ridiculous and i hate it so again i hope you're with me through this video i didn't want this to be a model o video there's thousands out there i've covered it multiple times you know about the mouse right you, you know about this mouse. there's really not much difference besides the solid shell what I wanted this be was conversation piece, kind of, kind of talking to you about, again, uh, the mouse space, the tech space, what's going on with Glorious in this Glorious Forge. What are your thoughts about it? What do you, do you agree with me? Like, you know, tech should not be like this. We've seen Logitech do it before with the uh, G Pro with limited color runs, you know what I mean? But still, you can still buy the G Pro wireless, you know what I mean? Am I just being, you know, a, a little bit overboard here or are you with me? honest opinion. But all in all, thank you so much for stopping by and watching this video. Hope I was able to help you out one way or another. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I hope I catch you in the next one. Bye now.